can betaine dietary supplements help you lose weight or can they help you burn body fat? Well, a lot of people are saying they can, but is it really true or not? Best way to know is to look at the actual clinical studies. In this video, I'm gonna show you the studies and something I observed as I was looking through them all. So let's start off and see what we can see. So we've got this investigation here. It's a meta-analysis, which is essentially a study of other studies. This meta-analysis included six previous betaine investigations involving almost 200 people. These researchers come to the conclusion that betaine supplements might reduce body fat mass by about five pounds and might reduce your body fat percentage by about two and a half percentage points leads them to conclude betaine supplements may, may might be an effective approach at reducing body fat. Okay, that's interesting. But what I want to do in the rest of the video is show you some of these studies on betaine and what I observed from looking at the dosages. So we've got this investigation. 42 overweight people, 14 men, 28 women. They're put on a diet and some of them are given a placebo. Some of them are given betaine supplements up to basically six thousand milligrams a day for 12 weeks, three months. What do they find? Oh, and by the way, they are using trimethylglycine betaine. They're not using betaine HCL. I want to point that out to you. There's two versions here of betaine, betaine hydrochlor hydrochloride HCL and trimethylglycine betaine. That's what the studies use. Pay attention to that if you're looking for dietary supplements. That said, let me go to the results here. So, one thing I want to point out here, they do say that uh, basically total cholesterol and total HDL, or excuse me, LDL, bad cholesterol, do go up with betaine supplements. That's something to keep in mind if you're going to be trying this stuff, monitor your cholesterol, but no significant difference in weight or fat or anything after taking 6,000 milligrams a day for three months. And they basically say that betaine is really no better than just going on a diet. But that's not the end of the story. Let's look at this investigation. So we, again, again, we've got another 12 week study of betaine. Uh, we've got basically people who are overweight, they've got prediabetes, there's 27 of them. They, in the beginning of the investigation, they start them out with basically 6,600 milligrams, over six grams a day for the first 10 days, probably to get them used to this much. And then they ramp it up to almost 10 grams of betaine for the rest of the 12 weeks of this study, again, or a placebo. So what are they finding here? Number one, I do wanna point out, like the previous investigation, this one also appeared to show that cholesterol levels went up with betaine. Again, if you have cholesterol issues or LDL, get them checked if you're trying this. But when you look at the results here, there's nothing mentioned about weight loss, which I found very interesting. But when I looked at the study, they do say no change in body weight or blood pressure, that's a good thing. Uh, and again, there were no serious effects, but again, no change in weight loss. So while this study uh, may be great in some respects, it does appear to show no change in body weight with betaine up to almost 10 grams a day. Let's look at this study. So this one is actually kind of popular in the exercise world. A lot of weightlifters take betaine and probably because of this investigation, 23 weightlifters are either given a placebo or two and a half grams, 2,500 milligrams of betaine a day for six weeks. And they also do an exercise program, a quite intense exercise program. See my previous uh, video on betaine for more on this study. But what they find here is interesting. Body composition changes. They lose body fat. They gain f basically muscle uh, and, and their fat mass goes down. So you gain lean muscle mass, they drop their fat mass and they, their body fat percentage decreases. And again, these are significant decreases after two and a half, uh, two and a half grams of betaine a day for this study duration. And again, just so you can see, I pulled this out of the, the study for you. Uh, as you can see, pre and post, you get your betaine body fat percentage. So it looks like they're losing about three percentage points and body fat, if we look over to lean body mass, looks like these people gained almost five pounds of maybe muscle. Lean mass could be water too, but if we assume it's muscle, it's a significant increase. And then in terms of losing fat mass, they lost about six, almost six pounds of fat with betaine versus the placebo. So this is interesting, but it begs the question, and here it is. How in the heck did two and a half grams of betaine do all this 
but other studies showing anywhere from six to almost 10,000 milligrams a day did not cause any change in body weight or, or fat mass, et cetera. What's up with that? How did a lower dose work, but a higher dose didn't? Could it be maybe two and a half grams is a sweet spot? Maybe there is a feedback loop, a negative feedback loop, where when you take a lot of it, it doesn't do the same thing as a lower amount. Maybe. Could it be maybe that there are some problems with how the studies were conducted? Hmm. So I just wanted you to see these studies so you could judge for yourself whether betaine may be right for you. I have no perfect answer here. I would like to see about three or four more betaine studies, but if you tried it, leave a comment below and let me know what happened. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Until next time, gang, I'm Joe Cannon. Go out, be safe, and where you can, do try to make a difference.